In this video, I'm going to walk you through the navigation for our course. Um, so hopefully it's fairly straightforward, but there are a couple of things I just wanted to point out as we get started. Hopefully this page looks familiar. This is the landing page for our class in Canvas. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see some information about the course in general. Um, this image here in the center will take you to the current module that we're working on. Um, it doesn't update automatically. I have to do it manually. So if ever it's a little behind, that's why. And I apologize, but I'll do my best to stay on it. Um, please do click into the contact information and intro from me. Um, I will post to the discussion board as well as we get started. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to know you. But that section also contains some information about late policies and other helpful things as well. Um, also, please do keep tabs on the course announcements. Um, you can either use this button here, or once there are announcements, there aren't any yet, there will be an announcements tab over here on the side in this menu. Um, as you scroll down, um, you'll see this video that you're watching now. Um, but you'll also see at a glance my contact info. Um, if you email me at my Western New Mexico uh, University email, it will forward to my CNM email, and that's what I use mostly. So don't be surprised um, if I respond to you from my CNM email address. All right, um, so I'm gonna click into the first module. And just to again, show you how to navigate things, um, each module will have objectives, um, the first one's a little different than the rest because it's introductory and it helps us get started with certain things. Um, the rest of them follow uh, essentially the same patterns. So as you read through here, you'll see how our course is organized. Uh, click here to see the syllabus. You can also go over here to the syllabus tab um, where there is, I clicked on it, didn't mean to. Um, here's a, a link to the syllabus in a Google Doc format. Uh, this one will give it to you as a PDF if uh, that is most helpful for you. And then we have a bunch of documents about how to complete certain assignments. So I'm just going to go back to where I was. Um, and again, this is walking you through the different kinds of assignments we'll be completing. Um, we'll be using a, a platform called Discord to complete some initial reading comments. Um, these are meant to be short comments that are open-ended so that you can uh, touch on whatever you think is most important, most interesting uh, from the readings. And you can um, you know, click here to read those assignment details. This link will take you to our class Discord server. So that's how you get to our class on Discord for the first time. Um, if you don't yet have uh, an account, it'll walk you through the steps of setting up a free account. Um, Discord is cool because it's just us. We have our own server. It's just our class. It's not public. Um, I used to use Twitter for this uh, kind of initial assignment. Um, I, I keep describing it that way, but I use it instead of doing something like a, a quiz for readings, for example. Um, this is a way to kind of show us that we've been doing the readings and we can talk about the readings in an informal and kind of brief way before we jump into the discussions and the blog posts. Um, I will probably delete this because we're not using Twitter anymore. So if you see any references to Twitter, it's because I used to use it, but it became kind of problematic. So um, I'm switching over this term for the first time. So again, if you see these, let me know and I can get rid of them or if you see anything like that in the future. Um, the blog assignments as well. Um, this is just an, an overview of what the expectations are for those regular assignments. Um, here's where we get into the work for module one. You'll click here to go to the discussion board to do your intro to the class. You can also click on discussions here to get there. Um, then we're going to do just a little bit of reading and thinking about uh, what historiography is and have a brief introduction to the history of the Mexican Revolution. I've also included a video about how to read for a history class because you're expected to read so much in so little time. Um, there's some tips in this video, and I also share this helpful uh, blog post about how to read a book in two hours or less. Um, so for module one, though, you will be choosing um, any two of these articles um, or one article and watch this video. And then 
you will go to Discord. Sorry, I don't mean to be scrolling around. This is where it says um, you'll go to Discord and you will post uh, brief comments about what you learned from these articles. So we're just getting our feet wet, just getting started, making sure everyone can get there and making sure we can do those open-ended Discord assignments. Um, all right, so then as you scroll to the bottom, each uh, module ends with the self-assessment and looking ahead. Um, module one is due by Wednesday, so it's pretty quick. Um, we have uh, an intensive course because we're only four weeks together this summer. Um, so again, hopefully you'll be able to just follow along with all of this and it's fairly straightforward. If ever you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, as I mentioned, here's the overall format for the modules. As we get to module two, we'll be looking at the Porfiriato. Um, and so there's a little overview, some uh, objectives, and then the reading. So uh, do make sure you buy the textbooks that are listed at the bookstore and that are also listed in the syllabus. And please get them as cheaply as you possibly can because we will be using them on a regular basis particularly Gonzalez, Castro, and Wasserman. Those are the kind of core books that we'll be reading bits and pieces from as we work our way through the course. Um, each of these modules has a set of videos, as I say there in the highlighted text. Um, these are optional. They're just there to help you get different perspectives on what we're studying. If you're not able to get to them, that's okay. Um, but hopefully they are also kind of helpful and do enhance what we've been reading. Um, here's the reminder to go to Discord and complete your reading comments. So Discord is a different platform. You'll open it up and complete your work over there based on the readings that were listed above. Um, this will take you to the discussion. Once you've done Discord, that's uh, the jumping off point to get us to where we will be ready to have a more in-depth discussion. And then the same thing, I'll click next one more time just to show you. Um, kind of goes every other module, we do a discussion or a blog post. So I'll just scroll down to show you that. Um, so again, same thing. There's the intro, there's the readings, videos, the reminder to go to Discord. And then this time it's a blog post and each blog post has a specific prompt. Um, so you can read through that and make sure that you've addressed it. Um, I do realize that I didn't update this self-assessment and looking ahead. It should say completing completed uh, Discord reading comments instead. So I'll be changing those here soon. Um, all right, hopefully that helps so that you get a sense of where things are. Um, of course, you know grades and assignments are ways to jump to the specific assignments like the blogs um, or the uh, Discord assignments as they're posted there. Um, directly without having to go through the modules. But if you walk yourself through the modules, you'll you'll uh, not miss anything and you uh, will see where all the due dates are and so on. So um, please let me know if you have questions or if you could use help with anything um, as we get started, especially. I look forward to getting to know you all and to learning from your insights into the Mexican Revolution. <laughs>